What's going on guys, Robert here back in another video. Uh, this time is actually something special. It's been something I've been looking forward to for quite a bit of a while. The only reason I actually play Vindictus was because I actually wanted something very similar to Monster Hunter. So yeah, this the release date for Monster Hunter World was just announced yesterday, which was September 19th. So yeah, and this is the official trailer that was released, so yeah, run by Capcom, which is pretty notorious for having really bad ports to PC. But we'll see what happens in the future. Lots of people are hyped, including myself, for the PC release. The release date is January 26th, I believe. For consoles. PC date has not been announced yet, but based on these cinematics. Wow. It's a nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara, I like it. We've got it all here. We've got I hope they have the to do exploring on YouTube. Scholars to do the research. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. The operation will commence at daybreak. It's coming. Move out! I can't listen to it sound. Good. January 26th for PC for not PC sorry for Xbox and PS3 of course there's free order bonuses but uh yeah does not include any weapons but uh yeah let's take a look at the actual things in the game because I know you guys want to see how it plays, how it compare. I'm pretty sure all of you, 99% of you, subscribe to see me play like hack and slash, vindictive style gameplay. So let's see. There is just there should be three different videos here. There we go. Light weapon. Start with light weapon. Combo is an incredibly versatile. From the beginning. Sword and shields. Welcome to the Monster Hunter World Light Weapon Series. Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. The Sword and Shield combo is an incredibly versatile and mobile weapon choice. This was actually Due to its nimble game. nature, you can still use healing items, traps, and your slinger whilst it's still drawn. I was actually a Sword and Shield game before I became a Lance user, so. This is actually one of my favorite. I've never actually gotten a chance to use these. But these are actually super Jewel Blades! Oh, 
The Jewel Blades can overwhelm monsters with a flurry of vicious attacks. Activating Demon Mode will unleash their true potential and bestow the ability to unleash a feral assault. What if it's into the stamina? I enjoyed the long, long lead of this. Long sword. I did enjoy using them. Especially, uh, spirit roundhouse. The longsword is a swift, agile weapon capable of lengthy and extended combos. You can even raise your attack power by using the spirit blade and unleash this weapon's ultimate power. I tried maining uh, a gunner. On, at least on my Light try, Boga. The Light Bow Gun is a long-ranged weapon that specializes in high mobility and rapid fire. Armed with powerful Wyvern Blast, this weapon is a tried and tested means of supporting your hunting party. Uh, next would be the Heavy Weapons. Welcome to the Monster Hunter World Heavy Weapon Series. Heavy weapons. Like you know, great swords. I was never really a fan of these. They were too slow. Great sword. Ah, ye old faithful. What the great sword lacks in mobility, it certainly makes up with earth shattering damage. Its excellent range and charged slashes can deal devastating blows to any monster. Give us like three attacks forever. But it seems like they sped it up just a little bit. Hammers were pretty interesting. I did use a hammer for a little bit. Hammer! Especially for boxes that have big heads. Blunt, weighty, and savage. The hammer is an excellent choice for those who want to wallop some monsters. Bludgeon monsters over the head to stun them, allowing you to follow up with brutal blows. I enjoyed that. Why this? Die! I always love the one that was. Going with that slurry. Favorite weapon. Lance. Lance. The Lance. A stout and stoic weapon boasting so strong offensive and defensive capabilities. Attack. Keeping your guard up while moving allows you to counter with deadly thrust attacks. This is, I'm more interested in this right now. Gun, gun lance. Gun lance. I've never had a chance to use this. This looks very interesting. Ah, the Gun Lance. Like its cousin, this weapon is a force to be reckoned with, with its ability to fire off bone-breaking shells to blast a monster. Beautiful. Heavy Bow Gun. Heavy Bow Gun. For a trade-off in mobility, the heavy bow gun is capable of inflicting massive damage with its high-powered artillery. The dragon on the dragon. Be sure to take advantage of powerful ammo types such as Wyvern Snipe and Wyvern Heart. Sniper mode. Alright, the last one will be technical weapons. I don't know what that is. Welcome to the Monster Hunter World Technical Weapon Series. Honestly, I think I'm gonna try every single weapon nowadays. Switch axe. Definitely use this. It's a switch axe. axe. Between sword and axe. A sword and axe mode. The adaptable switch axe can transform between a long reaching axe and a swift sword. Yeah. Wreak havoc in axe mode and then unleash the sword's element discharge for a devastating blow to your target. The only reason I didn't like that move was because that took a very vulnerable to attack and a very charged up lead. I honestly enjoyed it. Charge blade! 
thing is that this is the jump sword and shield. Incredibly versatile. The charge blade can morph from a sword and shield combo into a high powered axe. The key is to use the sword and shield combo to store energy and release its destructive force in axe mode. And the opposite of the With wind. Insect Glaive. The Insect Glaive is a weapon for those who like to take their fight to the skies. Boasting incredible mobility, the Insect Glaive enables aerial assaults from all angles. Combined with the use of Kinsects to receive boosts, the Glaive is a formidable choice of weaponry. Hunting Horn. Never used hunting horn. The heroic Hunting Horn allows you to perform stat boosting melodies for you and your Boost fellow your hunters. And your party members. But stat. don't take this support weapon for granted. It still packs a mighty punch. Sword and shoot, I mean, uh, mouse and shoot. Bow. What does a Kai mean? The bow is an elegant, agile oh, weapon that allows well. you to rain down an array of arrows upon your prey. Applying coatings to your arrows will allow you to inflict various status ailments to your wings, tips, terrors. Magnum. Beautiful. But uh, yeah, guys, definitely hyped for this. Look forward to me playing this in the future when it does come to PC. As of right now, that t is still to be determined. I hope it won't be past quarter two of next 2018. But really hoping for it and really looking forward to it. All right, guys, thanks for watching and hope you like this one. You can definitely will be seeing more of this when it comes out. Alright guys, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, comment, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.